This is Code Combat. I'm currently working on Computer Science 2 Python version. I'm on level 30, Seek and Hide. Let's see. Goals. Find and collect light stones. Defeat the Brawl Ogre. Your goal is to move to each of the red uh, uh, X marks, okay, searching for light stones. If you find one, you'll have to hide at the center X mark before, before continuing the search. If you find one, okay. First, finish the check take hide function to hide in the center of the camp after finding a light stone. Then examine the sample code that calls check take hide stone at the right X mark. And then write your own code to call it at the left X mark. All right, let's see. Call means you use it to bring it up. We'll see. Then move to the center of the camp. All right, so here's our check take hide function with item. Remember, a function's not run until it's called. We'll get into that in a sec. Then move to the center of the camp. Oh, they give us the coordinate. So move, yep, and click on that, and it is 40, 3, 4. Great. And then, I guess that's all we need. Now let me look at this area. Arrow. Move to the top left mark. Well, where is that? Oh, it's up here. Top left. Uh, 1256. Okay. Move XY 1256. All right. Search for a light stone. How do I? Hmm. I'm going to start deleting comments and spaces. You don't have to. It's just so I can read more of this. Search for a light stone. Search for a light stone. Oh, I can do find nearest item. Cool. Okay. So I'm going to use that. Find nearest item. And I can make it equal to light stone, right? If I want, um, I'm going to make it equal to, just to be clear, I'm going to make it equal to, well, where am I? Am I, uh, left, left, light, light stone. Okay, so left light stone. And notice I capitalized the start of light stone. You can name it light stone two if you want or something like that. Okay, now, Call the check take hide function. How do you call a function? This is how. Check take hide. Okay, so that's what I went here. And then uh, for my pass, pass the result of your search is an argument. The re pass means to use this variable. Mine's called left light stone. In the function. So to pass it means to put it into the function as an argument means right here. You're putting your variable here. Okay, so this is an argument. So check, take, hide, left, light, stone. Now remember, the computer doesn't run this when we start, when we hit run. What it does is says, okay, a function, wall true, okay, I'll run this. Hero move, I'm going to delete some of these comments just so we can see more of the code at once. Hero move to over here. Hero, check for a light stone, find nearest item, and then we check, take, hide. So we say, check, take, hide, light stone. That means, zoop, the computer then goes up here and says, okay, check, take, hide. I'm going to run this function. Item now equals light stone. If item, so if the light stone exists, if the computer says true, the item, then it will run this code. If the computer says false, it hits the bottom of the function because it skips all this and then goes back into this code and runs what's beneath this which is to move to the left. And then we do it again on the left side. I'm just getting rid of these. You don't need to do this. So we can see all of the code at once. Pass the result. And I did all that, I believe, hopefully. All right, let's test it. Oh, awesome. We did it. So here's that code that worked for me. Great. Onward.